All right, this has got your seat belt assembled here. Get a camera hold still for us. This is it's going to look like this. Obviously, you have your belt in there again. Everything's in place. It's going to let you rotate and ratchet everything down below. If you don't have your your cap plate on, the cap you took off. This one's got the backing plate on, which is nice. Uh, it's got the dowel pin, which is going to sit down in the dowel hole here. It's going to go back on. When you take these off, if you'll count the turns, you can put them back on with the same amount of tension. There's several ways you can do that, but uh, we count the turns on this and we pull it loose. We're going to put some tension on it. Usually it's about 10 full turns. If it's not enough, you can pull it back off and get some more. If you don't want to overdo it, you'll break your, your spring in there, then you've got nothing. So, obviously I'm just going to do a couple of turns here to show you. Get the dowel pin where it sets up right where it belongs here. That's in place like it's supposed to be. You've got three screws that have got the shoulders on it like that. Get your screw started. And that'll hold your, uh, your spring tension. I'm just keeping pressure down on this with my fingers the whole time so we don't lose anything here. I think I've got enough to get it started. You just don't want that to come flying out of there on you. Okay, three screws are down, cap plates back on, everything's just like it would be with hardware if you had the belt assembly in here like it belongs. It's going to let you pull the belt and it wind up tight when you buckle it up. you got to have this level bolted on the car where it's not going to wind the belt correctly. That's all it is guys, that's how you would redo this. If you need any help with this, please do not call us. Send an email to airbagsystems.com, we'll send you other additional support videos. We have other videos on how to test the seat belt pretensioners. You can't tell if they're blown by the noise they make or if they're locked down. You have to pull the shorting clips here and test it for resistance. Please send an email through our website, not through YouTube, to airbagsystems.com and we'll be glad to help you. But please do not call us with seat belt questions. We're not able to help you on the phone. Thank you.